Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Welcome back to the lectures in uh, chemistry. So far, we have studied a couple of model problems, namely the particle in the one dimensional box, two dimensional boxes, and also the electron in the hydrogen atom. Basically, we looked at the solutions and tried to understand what was uh, meant by quantization and energies and transitions between the energy levels and so on. The other extremely important model problem, both from physics and chemistry, is the problem of harmonic oscillators, which is also well known uh, from uh, the classical uh, mechanics. What we would do is to study the elementary quantum mechanical aspects of harmonic oscillator using the wave function method. Later in an advanced lecture, I would talk a little bit about the uh, different types of uh, raising and lowering operator formalisms of harmonic oscillator. But in this set, we would look at it as a wave function uh, method. And uh, as has always been in the last lectures, a few lectures, we start by looking at the energy of the harmonic oscillator from a classical uh, mechanical point of view and then uh, convert that into a quantum mechanical Hamiltonian and look at the solutions. The harmonic oscillator by definition is about uh, small amplitude oscillatory motion about an equilibrium position or periodic motion such as motion on a circle. These things can be easily understood as caused by a restoring force which is proportional to the displacement away from the equilibrium, but in the opposite direction. So let me write down harmonic motion, small amplitude, oscillation about equilibrium. If you want to visualize that, here are some simple pictures. So these are some examples of what is meant by a small amplitude vibration or oscillation about an equilibrium position. Now, the restoring force, if you write that, it is proportional to the displacement vector from the equilibrium and the mathematics is that the proportionality constant is a constant and since it is in the opposite direction, it is minus kx. We would assume that the force is in a direction of opposite to that of the displacement, so we do not need to worry about uh, the vector arrow here, but is the negative derivative of potential with respect to the distance or this with respect to the position coordinate, this is equal to kx and you can see therefore the potential energy V of x is with the minus kx and the minus kx. Therefore, v of x is the integral kx dx which gives you kx square by 2 plus a constant. We can always choose that the potential about the equilibrium that is or at the equilibrium x is equal to 0 is uh, 0 which means that the constant can be chosen to be 0. This is the minimum or what is known as the minimum in the potential and therefore the potential energy for a harmonic oscillator as a function of the displacement from equilibrium is given by half k x square and k you know is the force constant or the spring constant if you are talking about springs, force constant. And 
you know the dimension of k. k x square is uh, energy, so it is very clear what k should be. And the Hamiltonian, if you have to write for the harmonic oscillator, is obviously the kinetic energy plus the potential energy of the harmonic oscillator and the potential energy is already given here. The kinetic energy is half m v square or if you want to write it using momenta, it is p square by 2 m and therefore, the Hamiltonian in a classical sense is p square by 2 m plus half k x square, okay, where m is the mass of the oscillator. If you are worried about a diatomic molecule or uh, vibration of a diatomic species, then m is replaced by the reduced mass of the diatomic molecular system for vibrations. Okay. Also, please remember the harmonic oscillator is associated with a frequency nu or an angular frequency omega which is 2 pi times nu. This is the angular frequency in radians per second. This is the frequency linear per second. The frequency of a harmonic oscillator in a classical form is something that you all no, it is 1 by 2 pi square root of the force constant by the mass. You see that the two physical parameters for the harmonic oscillator are the extent of stiffness or the harmonicity given by k and the mass of the harmonic oscillator m. And these are the only two parameters that go in the classical Hamiltonian namely p squared by 2 m plus half k x square and p of course is you know it is mass times the velocity therefore, it is a, the, uh, the, the parameter for the harmonic oscillator or only the m and k and if you want to write it using the uh, angular frequency you can write this by writing p squared by 2 m plus half m omega square x square. Okay. So, this is the classical Hamiltonian. 